Hey friends! All right, so today I thought I would just show uh, something that I think is actually really important in being effective with JavaScript that, uh, yeah, can be kind of useful in some situations. And that is, what is the difference between a JavaScript statement and an expression? So uh, I'm pretty much going to just teach you with some examples of um, expressions and statements. Um, the uh, terminology here is a little bit uh, kind of loose because there's like um, expression statements and uh, things like that. But um, hopefully we can kind of capture the, the main point here. Uh, the reason that it's useful is um, if you're writing in React, you have the interpolation with the, the uh, curly braces. Anything that you want in between those curly braces um, needs to be an expression. If you try to put a statement in there, it's not going to work. And that same thing applies to um, uh, to a template literal. So that's what we're going to use in our example. So a template literal can take um, sorry, it can take a string, and it'll evaluate uh, like that, which is great. Um, but it can also take some interpolations, and that is denoted by the dollar sign, an open curly brace, and then a closing curly brace, and then anything between those two curly braces is a JavaScript expression. So um, the number three, that is an expression. Um, and then three plus three, that's also an expression. Um, and then even like three plus hello, that is also an expression. So um, it's called a binary expression um, where you have a left and a right. Um, and uh, one thing that's not an expression is var x equals. Uh, this is a statement, and that's why we're going to get the unexpected token var. Um, so that would be like a statement. Pretty much anything that you would typically end in a semicolon, um, that is going to be, um, well, OK, that's that's a bad rule. That, that doesn't apply uh, generally. So um, yeah, variable declarations, not expressions. Um, also. A function uh, dec uh, declaration where you say function foo, um, that actually is an expression, and um, that's because we have uh, like uh, fu uh, functions where you can like functions are first class citizens, just like regular objects. That's also an expression, uh, even though the what it's doing is it's stringifying these things, and the stringified version of that object isn't very useful. Uh, but the fact is that it doesn't uh, throw a syntax error, so. It is an expression. Um, and arrays, same thing. Um, just, just the, just, it's just the way that it's two stringed. Um, that's why we're getting that result. But as long as you try to stick it in a template literal and it evaluates properly, then what you're looking at is an expression. Here's another expression. Do, do, do. So uh, we learned earlier functions are expressions, but you can actually immediately invoke that and then. Um, in here, you could say var x equals hi, and then return x plus three or whatever you know. And then in that situation, you actually can do all kinds of things because what you're passing in there is um, an immediately invo invoked function expression. And so I wouldn't typically recommend doing this, but it is totally possible. Uh, and then we also have uh, let's see, do expression proposal. Um, so there's a proposal to add to the JavaScript language, what's called a do expression, which is a stage one right now. Um, and it's kind of confusing, but uh, it allows you to do something similar to what we're doing here, where we have an immediately invoked function expression. You can do all kinds of things in here. Uh, so even statements and calling other functions, whatever you want. And then you uh, return a, a value, and then this immediately invoked function expression evaluates to whatever it is you return. With the do expression, um, it's kind of similar. You have a block here. It doesn't take any arguments or whatever, um, but it does have access to its outer scope. Um, and then what matters is what's called the completion value. Complete. It looks like they're not referencing it that way, so maybe they're changing the way that they, um, they're referring to it, or it's a kind of a small document. Um, huh, this is a pretty small document. It's interesting. Well, uh, anyway, what this is called is the completion value of the do expression. And so whatever the last um, expression evaluates to is what uh, is going to, um, what the whole do expression is going to evaluate to, which is why I think it's kind of confusing. Um, but in any case, that is also an expression. And this is the, a type of expression that allows you to do just about any JavaScript that you want to. 
Um, another thing that, that we can do here is if we had a function that's greeting and then that takes a name and then this returns like hello name. Okay, so then if we wanted to do another one of these uh, string um, um, interpolations, then we can actually call greeting Joe. And then we're, that is also an expression. So invoking a function is also an expression. That's kind of actually what we're doing here is we're creating and then immediately invoking that function. And um, that's why it's an expression. Um, but yeah, so declaring variables, I honestly can't think of other uh, non -ex oh oh no totally I got I got some others here let's let's clear this um, so here's another non-expression thing um, if uh, true then um, hi otherwise yo I don't know whatever that's also not an expression so this if statement another non-expression would be um, a for um, bar x equals one and so on and so forth. A for loop is also not an expression. A with clause would not be an expression. A uh, class actually is um, an expression because it's actually sort of a function under the hood. So um, a class is, an, uh, a class definition is an expression. Um, yeah, let's uh, also await if you wanted to await some um, function, I don't know, uh, fetch, whatever. This is um, also an expression. It'll, here, we'll do promise.resolve, hi. So we're gonna await to whatever the promise resolves to. Um, that is also an expression. Um, so awaiting, you'll do that inside of an async function, of course. Um, yeah, what other non-expression things are there? Um, most of the work that I do, I'm working in expressions, actually. I, I'll declare variables. Sometimes I'll do if statements. If I wanted to do this as an expression rather than an if statement, what I would do is I'd say um, my conditional and then uh, use a ternary expression. And so I do that a lot inside of JSX. Um, yeah, so let's actually, I wanted to, to take a look at some of these things in AST Explorer, which I think is pretty cool. Um, so I'm gonna just paste that in here. Here, and we'll do something simple, uh, simple like uh, three plus four. There we go. So this is gonna be, uh, uh, so uh, AST Explorer, this really cool thing. Let me paste this in the chat really quick. Um, AST Explorer is awesome. It allows you to um, see how certain tools view your JavaScript code. So they're gonna uh, compile or, or uh, parse it into, um, uh, a JSON object, basically a static representation of that code. Um, that's just this giant JSON object to represent that code. Um, and then we can explore it here and see what they're calling things. And so they may call things differently. So if we change to Acorn or if we change to whatever this thing is, um, I prefer uh, Babylon 7 because that is uh, typically I'm using Babel. Uh, this is the parser that Babel um, uses. But uh, yeah, so with Babylon 7, the, some, uh, again, some of the vernacular is going to be different between these different tools. But uh, for Babylon 7, um, it calls this an expression statement. And an expression statement has what's called an expression as part of it. So this is a specific uh, type of expression statement called a binary expression. And the binary expression has a left side and a right side and an operator. So the operator is plus in this case. If I were to change this to a multiple, then we'll get a multiple multiplication operator. Um, but the binary expression in either case is going to have a left side of the expression and a right side. And so here we have the left is a numeric literal with the value of three and the right is a numeric literal with the value of four. Uh, it also has some location and other information um, that could be useful for a linter or something like that. Um, but the, the real idea here is that we have an ex expression statement, which is a binary expression. And a binary expression has a left side and a right side. And that left side could actually be a variable. And now instead of a numeric literal like we had before, we now have an identifier, uh, which is just a variable name. Uh, and that itself is an expression. So if we just do the variable name, that's an expression statement where the expression is an identifier. And uh, yeah, so then if we wanted to, here, let me just answer this question really quick. Is AST something that RJS code is transformed into when it's ex executed by V8, for example? 
uh, yes, that's exactly what V8 is doing. It probably doesn't transform it into something that looks like this, this but it does transform it into an abstract syntax tree and, uh, and then it evaluates um, based off of that abstract syntax tree. Because um, as far as the computer is concerned, it doesn't care what your variable names are. It doesn't care about any of that stuff. It's just going to run your code. Cool, cool. So um, yeah, we have um, an identifier on the left, numeric literal on the right. Um, so what happens if we add a, um, I don't know, another like divided by u? then this is actually where things get a little bit interesting. Um, we have our expression statement that you'll notice on the left side, as I hover over things, things will highlight yellow. Um, and as I uh, click around on here, it's going to auto-select on the right side so they stay um, auto-focused. But uh, yeah, so overall, we're going to have an expression statement and that expression statement is composed of a, an expression, that's the whole expression, and that's a binary expression, just like we, what we had before, where the left is um, actually another binary expression, and the right is an identifier. So, and, and then our operator is divisi division. So how does it determine whether to have the left be the binary expression and the right be the identifier, or maybe why don't we have the left be the identifier and then the right be the binary expression. Like, why isn't it divided like that? Well, it has to do with order of operations in math. And so um, in math, you're going to um, go with multipl multiplication and division. They are applied in order. Um, so they, um, yeah, they're just applied in order. But if we were to, for example, have a plus here, that changes our abstract syntax tree entirely because... Um, division is going to be evaluated before the addition. And so now our binary expression has on the left the identifier and then on the right it has another binary expression uh, that has a numeric literal on the left with the operator of dividing and the right is the identifier. So we're getting a little bit further into the weeds that I, I wanted to. Uh, let's turn this into a, um, a, uh, a statement. So I'm going to say var x equals and now this changes into a statement that is a variable declaration. And now we can't take that snippet of code and put it inside of a JSX thing or inside of a string interpolation uh, because it's not an expression. It doesn't evaluate to anything. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just an assignment to a variable. Now, um, the variable um, declaration is what makes it a statement. Um, if we remove that, now it is an assignment expression uh, it technically is still an expression statement. That's why I said this is a little bit um, confusing. Maybe my, my uh, usage of these terms is a little inaccurate. But in my mind, an expression is something that evaluates to a value. And a statement is some imperative code that you're, uh, you're running, uh, whether that be assigning a variable uh, or declaring a variable or, um, or an if statement or a for loop or something like that. Um, so in any case, now this is an expression statement that is an assignment expression. Before it was a variable declarator um, that had an initialization that is a binary expression. So that changes it a little bit by removing the var. Uh, and that, that just applies to Babylon 7. This could be interpreted differently by other, um, other parsers. I'm not sure what other parsers would, in, in, uh, would interpret this differently, but it could be. Um, one other thing I'm going to stick in here is we'll say if true, then um, hi, whatever, or like x equals hi. Um, and we'll put this inside of a block because that's more typical. So we'll say var x else x equals by. Okay, cool. So now um, we're getting an if statement and um, and so therefore this thing, because it is a statement, cannot go into a JSX interpolation thing like div, um, div, right? So we can have uh, the, a number there because that's an expression, but we couldn't put an if true thing there. That, that won't even parse um, because it is a statement. Um, cool, yeah. So feel free to, to play around with this thing. I, I did paste the link in the chat there. If, um, yeah, I, I just thought it would be useful to kind of explore the differences between an expression, something that 
evaluates to a value, and a statement, some imperative code that uh, performs some action. Um, that doesn't mean that expressions can't do side effects, like um, this is an expression as well, fetch foo. Um, that is an expression and it's, that's doing some side effects. So that's not the difference. Uh, the difference between a statement and an expression is not whether or not it performs side effects. It is um, uh, whether it, it uh, simply evaluates to a value or if it is um, kind of informing the computer to do some imperative thing, um, like an if block, for loop, um, stuff of that nature. So, yep, that's pretty much it. Um, I know it's a little bit late today. Sorry about that. I'm, um, I kind of want to do these every morning, but things just come up and I decide to do something else. Um, hopefully I can start doing a little bit more of a like routine on this stuff. But I hope that's helpful to you all and uh, hope you have a wonderful evening. And I will see you all tomorrow. Goodbye. Boop.